I'm Mike Foss, and I'm a basically the stay-home father. I do part-time work on the side and keep the house running. My wife, uh, Jen, uh, we've been married for 21 years. She's in the medical device field. We have a 16-year-old daughter, Charlotte, and Lena is our 14-year-old daughter. Lena currently is a lot of fun. I mean, she's very bubbly. Whenever I bring her to school for whatever reason that she didn't make it on the bus that morning or something, she's saying hi to everybody. One of her favorite places to go is Market Basket. We walk the aisles and she's like, hi, hi, hi. You know, a lot of people don't answer and some people do. And they, But it's that's just her personality at this point. It wasn't always that way. She When uh, she was younger, she was a little more serious and quiet and reserved. She was diagnosed, you know, at 16 months. She seems generally very happy. She is learning on a daily basis more and more words, putting two words together. She basically was nonverbal until she was nine. So she's come quite a ways from a nine-year-old to 14. Physically, I think she's closer to her age, where she should be, and how her body works. It's the cognitive things that'll forever be a challenge for her, and relationship skills. We try to get her out in the community as much as possible. She's a very happy and a helpful kid, too. Very helpful. She's very good at puzzles, and they're not the little tiny little pieces. They're about the, the 40 or 50-piece puzzles, and I imagine... As she gets older, maybe those puzzles will become like the, the tabletop ones. Uh, she'll like to go for walks in the, up and down the street. Unfortunately, she has a fear of dogs, so that prevents her from going too far. Her first words, we had a cat at the time, it was my old cat, was pat-pat. She was patting the cat, and she'd say, pat-pat, oh, pat-pat. She said it for like two weeks and never said it again. Uh, and then she wasn't picking up new words. So, the, you know, we were concerned. But by uh, I think we had her diagnosed at two and a half years old, uh, and it was um, PDD nonspecific. My wife is, um, because she's in the medical field, she immediately starts reading up and doing this and asking people, and boom, boom, boom. She was amazing in that respect, getting the information, what do we need to do. From there, I mean, we got a, a private speech at four years old, you know, so the first piece that we, we decided to really tackle is the speech communication piece. We tried to get her some sign language skills, and she didn't have the motor coordination for that. Her progress, I think, vocally has come quite a ways. Now she probably has independently, I would say, three dozen words that she used constantly, but now we're working on pairing words together, like daddy car, open door, uh, shoes on, that kind of thing. And then that, from there, it went to the Nova Chat. And so she's been using that here at school. The funny thing with the Nova Chat, though, is that she will not pull it out at home. It's a very much a school thing at this point. So that's something we're going to have to work on. How do we let the family use the Nova Chat, too? Uh, it's, she's very protective of it. You always have to have, also with Lena, a plan B. So, you know, on certain events, do we take two cars? Do we take one car? If we have to leave the restaurant, who's going to do it? So you always have to think of something that could go wrong before it does go wrong. Generally, though, I'd say Lena is a real pleasure to be around. She's got a great sense of humor. Um, she has her rituals that she likes to repeat. And generally, she's very endearing. She's got a nice smile and is generally happy. And people uh, seem to want to interact with her, like in the supermarket. She'll go, hi. You know, oh, hi, how are you? And she should say, good. And then she'll say, hi. But, you know, it's this, she's reaching out in her own way. And I have to say, we feel blessed in many ways that Lena is as functional as she is. So I, in many ways, we feel blessed that she is as mobile as she is and that she seems to be improving as she goes along. Let's put it that way. My, my wife researched all about how you get autism and uh, what's responsible and what have you. And it, for me, it was never what, why is Lena like this way? It was always like, what do we do with what we have and how do we move forward? You know, you're going to make mistakes as a parent. You've got to learn to get beyond that and, you know, move forward and, and just keep getting better yourself. You expect your kid to get better. You know, you've got to keep getting better too. So 